see what's happening in the news today and we start talking about the economy and that's all that's been talked about this last week and the week before. And what was amazing is how after the, the housing crisis and we saw so many problems that were brought to our attention, it got quiet. And it wasn't until it became a huge problem again they started getting more and more attention. Well, this isn't something that was caused because of a hurricane or because of another act of God. This is something that should have been preventable and foreseeable. And when you talk about federal regulators that should have been doing their jobs, we talk about policies that should have been holding these corporations accountable that were ignored. We talk about oversight safeguards. A lot of things that were simply ignored. And I think it's really unfortunate that we saw the proposal that came to us from President Bush and from Mr. Paulson be proposed without a good starting point, without talking about adequate safeguards, without adequate oversight, without holding people accountable. They presented this plan and they said, give us $700 billion to bail out Wall Street and trust us. You don't need to require us to do anything else to hold us accountable or to look out for people. And that's something wrong and I think that that's why it's important when we hear what the leadership's talking about today and we hear what Senator Obama's talking about, the importance of oversight and safeguards. It's a little of what common sense tells us that we need to be doing. And common sense will take you a long way. A little bit about myself, I was born and raised in the district. Um, I'm from a small community just north of Santa Fe, nestled between two pueblos, Nambe and Puaca, it's a small community in Nambe. And when I was young, I was fortunate that I lived in the same household as my parents and grandparents. When I was young, grandma and grandpa moved in with us. And uh, something that's real important to me, family's important to me, culture's important to me, tradition's important. And it's one of the reasons why so many people, I think, come to New Mexico. Taking care of grandma and grandpa, one thing that they taught me when I was young was to make sure that you were going to be honest with people, that you were going to stand up for people, that you were going to have a strong work ethic. And if you didn't have that strong work ethic, they'd put a shovel in your hand and they'd make you go outside and they'd show you what a strong work ethic was as well. And they made you earn it. They made you earn the respect of those around you. It's not something that's just given to you. It's something that you have to earn. They taught me the importance of trusting in God. That's my family. It's probably important about family, faith, and taking care of each other. Mom and Dad, some of you know who my father is. Dad serves in the Mexico House of Representatives. Mom is uh, currently a human rights commissioner. She's been serving for some years, and I tell the governor whenever we get a chance to visit with him that he couldn't have found a more compassionate person to serve on this board. But before Dad became elected, he was actually a union iron worker. Labor is something that's very important. When we talk about the importance of fighting for people, fighting for fair wages, living wages, fighting for good working conditions, for health care, for making a difference in people's lives. It's something that labor truly represents. And as we've seen a decline in the years in what's happened to wages, you've also seen a decline in what's happened to the assault on unions and organized labor today. We need to get that back on the right track. You know, we as a nation, we talk about fair labor standards and what's happening around the rest of the world. We need to hold those, cap those companies and those corporations to the same accountability that we hold companies that exist right here in the United States.